Yeah, I will say uh, in, the, in the exhibition, the eye of Gandhi, we try to portray Gandhi in a very simple way so that it gives a message to everybody. That's why I chose the format of the alphabet from A to Z to Z. And through this alphabet, in each one of the letters, one thing that was very relevant and very fundamental for Gandhi will be explained from his principles of non-violence to his, in how he, he um, put that into practice in the salt of March, for example, or how was his life, he was a vegetarian, uh, he didn't have any possessions, he was always uh, traveling in a, no, in a second class train, I mean, how was important for him, his family, his wife, uh, there could be also uh, many of the principles that he believed in. But uh, what is important is that in this exhibition we also see the evolution of the man he was. Here we see him at the beginning when he was an Englishman because he wanted to be a very proper Englishman and then he realizes that it could be very, uh, he, would, he has no, will have no sense. Uh, for a, an Indian to be dressed as an Englishman, and he decides that I mean he has to become the poor man. He I mean the poor man in in how he looked. I mean he decided that he has to be uh, one of the poorest men in India, and that's why he dressed as you can see at, at the end of his life, always with almost nothing. There is uh, this photo is very important also because here we see that he didn't like to possess anything. He said that any possession would be a burden. And what is also important in this exhibition is that it's, it's an interactive exhibition. This is very important for our times because people want, don't want only to be passive but want to really be very active in, in exhibitions. There are many installations. One of the main ones is the Yuhu Beach that we see very close from where we are and we will see in a moment. And it, Gandhi liked it very much silence. I mean, one day per week he would be always silent and um, he also liked to meditate very much and, w and he also uh, when he could he would meditate in the beach he, he, he was born close to the beach and he would just uh, uh, sit in front of the beach one hour and just he, he would feel that he was renovated by the sound and by the energy of the sea and in this uh, exhibition we invite the visitors to sit as he did in, in, the, in front of the Juhu beach, because in fact the beach that we see here is the Juhu beach in India, and just try to, to have a peace of moment and meditation and calm. And this is maybe a good message also for our days in which we live so much in a rush, just to try to uh, calm down and sit and meditate of, I mean, how, where, and uh, where are we going? And maybe try to find this message of happiness that was attracted to me that when I started to see Gandhi. As I say again, happiness is when you, what you, what you think, what you do, and what you say are in harmony. I would like people, to, when they come to this exhibition, to find a bit of harmony in themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah.